Uh, how do I do this? How am I gonna, I think that's better. I think that's better. Welcome to the episode today. Um, today, I, listen, we are moving from one rental to another, as I said at the end of last episode. So today I've just been really just moving a lot, which is not that exciting in a vlog, so I didn't vlog any of it. Um, but there's something that I wanna bring up and talk about. In, in today's episode, since I've been up here in Connecticut, there's something I wanna bring up that I've noticed the second my feet hit in New England. Yeah. So, uh, you know, since I've been up here, since my feet have hit the ground here in uh, at least Connecticut, um, I've noticed, well, first off, when I first got here, it was like 60 something degrees. It was freezing. I mean, for me, it was freezing. Florida definitely made me weak. I am definitely a warm bodied person now, but, uh, like, to me, it was kind of depressing. Like, fall normally is beautiful in Connecticut. The colors are amazing. Some of the photos you can get are ridiculously awesome. But it's like, I'm, it's a little depressing. Like, it gets dark pretty early here. At least in Florida, it gets dark early, but at least it's like beautiful when it gets dark. Sorry, my arm got tired. Here, it's just, uh, I don't, like, it's a little, it's honestly just a little bit depressing to me. Um, and I feel like, and I'm, I'm, I'm saying this because I wanted today to be more of a therapy session for me at least. Because you guys are like a therapist to me and I, I, I want to be open with you guys. Anyways, I just feel that like, when, when that happens, when like I see, you know, it's changing and leaves are falling off the trees and... It's a little, it's getting a little depressing. I feel like I like hunker down and I get like worked on and I don't go out and I don't be around people. I'm doing work, which isn't the healthiest option. Um, I, I feel like in Florida, I mean, we, I know Tristan, Parker, Nick, um, all my friends are down there. So it's easier to like go make content. It's easier to, um, go do something with people or at least know that people are around up here I'm really just with family and um, as much as people think my life is awesome which it kind of is <laughs> uh, parts of it are at least um, my family can only put up with me so much especially as like now a vlogger I'm always vlogging. I'm always trying to do something better. I'm always trying to vlog better. I'm always trying to make new content. So I try to I, I, I try to like set time away from my family, but also like I can go pretty crazy being around my family too much. So there's a fine balance, but I feel like that's a natural balance. It's a fine balance, but it's a natural balance. Um, and finding that sweet spot, what I call the zone, finding that zone of where you can be with your family and hang out and have a great time and also like be yourself and go do what you want to do that that's a really fine balance it's a really fine zone and I'm slowly starting to find out I've been vlogging now for you know 260 some days and I'm still trying to find that balance um, and I, I want to bring my vlog game to the next level. That's why I brought Parker in. Because he's like, he's way smarter than me when it comes to camera work. Way smarter than me. And I want to bring my this vlog to the next level. Whatever the next level would look like, I'm ready to, ready to do it. Um, so... I guess it's like the unofficial announcement. I'm gonna make more of an official one, but like I'm gonna start monetizing some of these videos. As you know, I've been starting doing a little bit of brand deals like with Invictus Magic. And I'm gonna be doing more of those hopefully. Um, well, not hopefully, but I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing more of those. So it's just one of those. I think I'm ready to like I've been doing YouTube for a bunch of years. Um, 
I've been doing YouTube for a bunch of years and I've been not taking it as seriously as I want it to, to take it. And I think more recently I've really thought about that I'm gonna take YouTube very seriously. Yes, I run my companies and, and yes, I have clients and, and everything like that, but I really want YouTube to to be an outlet where I can be really creative with no boundaries and I feel like that's that that's what makes YouTube YouTube that's what makes creators on YouTube creators on YouTube is there's no studio telling you what you can and can't do there's no director telling you what you can or can't it's very much just whatever you want your content to be that can be your content and I'm ready to take on that challenge. Um, and I feel like being up here when it's a, you know just a little depressing, it makes me want to do it even more because it, it might help me get out of that funk, you know, and 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 see the world in a different way. Um, I, I've I've talked to a bunch of friends who are professional YouTubers and professional filmmakers and vloggers and and they a lot of them have the same thought of like when you're vlogging when you're making new content every day that's all you think about and it's true like I woke up this morning and I instantly thought what's the vlog gonna be today last night my mom and I were watching a movie and the only thing I was thinking of was what's the con what's the vlog gonna be tomorrow what's the content tomorrow and I feel like if I'm taking it seriously, that's going to be a factor, but I also have to know that I have a team that can help me filter out ideas and filter... Sorry, this is beautiful. Isn't that just beautiful out there? Anyways, filter out ideas, and I'm ready to take on a challenge. That's kind of what I'm saying. So, uh, anyways... Right now, I need to head back uh, to the other house because I gotta take, or my mom and I are gonna take a dog for a walk. Take a dog for a walk. Yeah. Now, uh, now isn't this beautiful? Wow, beautiful, right? This is like the uh, communal dock here. You can tell, you can tell seagulls have been here. I'm trying to get some dinner. So beautiful. Time lapses first thing that I thought of. We have to give away this rug and we might have just found a person. All right. I think Let's see what's in here. Okay, will you pull out the, will you pull out the rug? Yeah. You guys, isn't this wonderful? Yeah. <laughs> these fellas, these fellas just installed all our See you in a bit, Mama. I'll see you now, and I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> All right, costume change. Time for dinner. Are there lights in this place? Anyways, I'm gonna end this episode here. Um, sorry, it wasn't so. Ooh, outside. Sorry, it wasn't so exciting today, but um, you know, again, I've been. The lighting sucks. That's a little bit better. Um, sorry, um, today wasn't so exciting. Uh, moving and stuff. I've stressful as it as it is. Vlogging and doing it a little more stressful. 
Anyways, I'm going to end this episode here. I'll see you tomorrow for slightly more of hopefully slightly of an exciting episode. Okay, see you tomorrow.